Hi everyone, this is Jesse here from SkySuit. And today I just want to do a quick video talking about the quick design bulk group capacity calculator and how we can use that to solve some real world examples. Now, to open up this tool, we can scroll down to the quick design section um, and we can click on the US standards to open up the US version of the bulk group capacity calculator. Now we do have three different versions of this tool in total. We have the American version, which I've opened. And if we click this drop down here, we can see we also have an Australian version and a European version. The tools are all similar in how they take in the inputs. Um, the graphics look quite very much the same. And the main difference is just that the calculations are in accordance with those different standards when we just switch between these different tools. Now what we can see here with this input is it's quite a simple input. We just have this single plate with a single um, bolt arrangement. Uh, it's just kind of a 2D arrangement. So as I flick through here, we can see we've got a bolt geometry. We take a plate geometry, bolt properties, plate properties, all details. Some analysis details and we can take any direction of design loading so this is a very flexible tool um, but for applying it for something complicated in a complicated 3d section what i would recommend is you probably instead want to look at the um, connection designer tool so if i click on connection design um, and i already have something open here uh, we could do something complicated like this or if i go back to this other one you can select whatever code we're interested in whatever units we're interested in. And we just have a, a range of different connections we can deal with. And I'm just really kicking anything here, but we can see, yeah, we can get something really complicated. Now we could design this with um, the quick design calculator. But for something like this, it's going to be less of a quick design because we're going to need to run it uh, multiple times. But if we were interested in just checking one of these plates or we're interested in um, something more customizable beyond um, what this tool is offering, then I'd recommend the flexibility of the quick design tool just because it adds um, you know, a lot of You've got a lot of customization and what you can put in for, say, the lows, the dimensions, um, and it's quite easy to make those minor changes to the tool. So this is just a really quick option, a really flexible and general option, and the connection designer presents something, uh, I guess, more of a 3D option, which can handle um, these different all these different connections a bit better. So both of these tools are great, and I'd recommend giving them both a go, um, seeing what works for you. And for more detailed connections, probably using the connection designer, but giving the quick designer a go just to maybe validate something, or maybe you just want to check, you know, the bearing capacity of a single plate or check some minor detail and just want to do it real quick, find that really specific value. That's when you want to use the quick designer. If you have any, any questions about any of the tools, you can always drop a message here. Otherwise, feel free to play around with these tools, see how you go. And if you're interested in learning more about the quick designer, quick design or quick capacity calculator, you can watch my other videos that I have going through some real-world examples and talking about some of the concepts used in this tool. Thank you.